What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's begin today's lesson on the top center page with the eye. We're gonna start down here on the left, bend this up and then across. Now we wanna blend the eye in towards that first braid. That comes around, down and then in. Now let's taper this so it gets wider as you go around the outside and then up towards the top. Let's curl up the inside of the brow. Coming around and then up. Now I'm gonna draw the bottom edge of the eye underneath the brow, bend this across. Now I'm gonna layer the cheek on top. So we're gonna step back, going up and then out. Let's place the pupil on the right side with an oval. Going up and then down. Add a small circle on the top of the highlight and we'll darken up the bottom of the eye. Let's add a fold across the top of the eye, going up and then out. I'm going to work my way across towards the nose, starting underneath the brow, bend this out and then down towards the tip. And we'll curve the head, coming down, round up the head and then up in behind that braid. Let's separate the nose with a curve and we'll fill the nose in black. Now all the way over on the right side, let's add the mouth, starting down here and out and then up, add a bracket on the end. Now because the head is turned, we're just gonna see the inside edge of the left eye. So let's start with the brow, bend this out and up. I'm just gonna bend this out towards the side. Let's tuck the eye in underneath, stepping back, bring this down and then in. Let's push the pupil underneath the brow, the curve, add a small highlight along the top, and we'll fill the bottom of the eye. Now let's fold the brow in behind the eye. We're gonna step down, go out, go all the way around, and pull that down on the inside. Now we're gonna come back to the rest of the head after we've drawn in the body. Let's start with the right arm. We're gonna start underneath the head, bend this out in behind the braid, and continue this all the way down towards the wrist. Let's layer that thick cuff on top of the arm. We're gonna step out, bend this in, and then down. From the ends, angle this down towards the hand, close this off with another curve. Now let's draw the inside edge of the arm. Starting on the inside, bend the arm going up, in behind the braid, bend that up towards the body. Now just underneath the arm, we're going to draw the back, coming down and then in towards the hip. Let's go underneath the head over on the left side, I'm going to curve the body, going out around the chest, blend this into the leg, coming down and then in. Let's go back to the right side and draw a straight angle line coming down towards the right ankle towards the same height. Now we want to round out the bottom of the legs with a curve. On the right side, angle is up. Now as you get up to the top, we're just going to bend this over towards the left. Let's tuck the left leg in behind, stepping down, round this out and come down towards the ankle. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and add that little detail. Starting from the left side of the body, bend this down and up towards the right. Come down in the middle and go out towards the side. Now I'm gonna go back and finish off that large hand. We're gonna start from the corner of the cuff, draw the thumb with a half circle going all the way around and then out. Add a bracket on the end. From the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna come down. And just bend that up to create a fold across the fist Step back down, go all the way around the outside of the hand, and then in towards the outside of the cuff. Let's add those two spikes across the back of the hand. We're gonna start with two curves, one on the left, and then one on the right. And then from the ends of those curves, we're gonna pull this down and in towards the center point. Now we're gonna move over and draw the left arm in behind the body. So we're gonna start up here on the side, bend the arm coming down and out towards the wrist. And then again, we're going to layer the cuff on top. So we step up, bend this in, and then down. Let's angle the side of the cuff, coming down towards the hand. And then we'll round this out. Let's draw the inside of the arm, going in behind the body. Let's go to the top of the cuff. We're going to curl around the thumb. We'll go up, come down, round up the thumb, and then bend that back up, and add a curve for the palm. 
I'm gonna fold the hand in behind the thumb. Start from the top, go all the way around, and then in. Now right here we're gonna create a fold. So we're gonna step back, come all the way around, and then just tuck that in behind the thumb. Let's go to the inside of the cuff, curve the palm in behind the hand. Now we're gonna continue the curve of the hand along the outside of the thumb, just pulling this up to create a fold. And we're gonna add two spikes across the knuckle. We'll start with the one on the top, and then one across the bottom. Now I'm gonna go back and finish off the feet. Let's start with the top edge of the cuff. We're gonna step up on the left side, we're gonna draw an oval, going all the way around the base of the leg, and back in, do the same thing on the right. Now from the edge of the ovals, about two straight angle lines coming down on both sides. And you wanna close off the bottom with that same curve. Now I want to place the right foot on top of the left. So from the bottom corners of the cuff, and just in and then down towards the bottom of the foot. Let's go to the outside and do the same thing. Going out and then down. Close off the bottom of the foot with a curve. Let's go to the left side. We're just going to curve the heel in behind the right foot. And then we'll round out the foot. We're going to go up, curve this down, and then up toward the outside. Curve the foot going up and then back. In. Now we're going to add a thick sole across the bottom of the feet. So we're going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Now on the top of the right foot, we're going to draw two straight angled lines coming down and then out, and curve the bottom. From the corners, we're going to step up and add that stripe, bring this out and then down toward the side of the feet. Let's move all the way over toward the left side. Bend this in and then down. Angle this up in behind the cuff. I'm gonna add that stripe. We're gonna step in, bend this in and down. Go back to the cuff, draw that same curve. Now we're gonna add a thick edge along the left side. Just gonna trace this curve coming in, then up towards the cuff. And then on the right side, we're just gonna trace out the bottom edge. Let's add a couple circles. On the left side, we're gonna draw one oval. Step up and draw that again. Then on the right side, we're gonna draw four ovals. Let's go back up to the hip and draw on the tail. We're gonna start from the hip, then down, and then out. Step down, we're just gonna taper this so it gets narrow in behind the hand. Now that we complete the body, let's move up and finish off the head. We're start by adding in those braids. We start from the side, bend this down and in behind the arm, and I step down, curve this out, and then up towards the top. Now I want to finish off this point, coming in along the inside of the arm, and then back out. From the top, we're going to step over and add another braid, going all the way around, come down and then in behind the hand, step in, just taper this so it gets wider, going back up. Let's add a braid in behind the head on the left side. So we come down and then bend that back up. Now we're gonna draw on the top of the head. Start from the left brow, bend this up and then in. You're gonna add a slight curve and a bend going up toward the top point of the head. Let's add one more braid. Going around the head, come down along the side. I'm just gonna tuck this in behind and then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how I draw Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.